I love the way the First Gen Lounge makes me feel. Because it creates a space where I belong. Where we're able to create community. The fact that it's a community. It's a safe place. It also gives me a place to understand different perspectives. The stories of these individuals prescribe transformational perspective. I receive encouragement, enlightenment, empowerment. And also serve as a catalyst to just keep going. Where we're able to be our true selves. I'm allowed to be an unapologetic first gen. And above all else, tell our story. And every episode is unique. I love it. I'm your host, Dr. Eve, and I'd like to welcome you to the First Gen Lounge. Good morning and great day to you, 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 and your whole crew. What song is that? (laughs) Uh, No copyrights, though. I don't don't think that I did it long enough to have any copyright issues. So, but don't don't go tell them either. Okay, whatever. Listen, we just gonna get to it. My brother said something to me recently and I was like yo that's real he said a wound has to hurt before it can heal yes those are bars too (laughs) a wound has to hurt before it can heal for those of you who are hurting right now for those of you who may find yourselves hurting in the future, I want you to run this one back. To remember, a wound has to hurt before it can heal. When he said that, that made me think about people who get surgeries, how painful those things are. You fall off your bike when you were a kid and you scrape. How that how that feels. Emotional pain. That's a real one too, right? Um it hurts a broken heart it hurts but it has to hurt before it can heal before it can feel better that doesn't mean you won't have a scar and sometimes scars aren't ones that we can see we know that right but it does mean that hurting means it's healing hurting lets you know that something is wrong so that you can tend to it And when we think about being hurt and healing at that, we can't rush it. We can't snap our fingers and abracadabra, a scar from surgery is gone. We can't snap our fingers and voila, we feel no more pain and no more tears from this failed relationship. Or we can't snap our fingers and wham, the finger I just jammed in the door no longer hurts. It has to hurt before it can heal. So wanting to remind you in this season to be patient with yourself in your healing, to be patient with yourself when you have been wounded, to acknowledge that you have been wounded, however you may have been wounded, and to let time do what it does best. But in the meantime, like when you get a scar, you get a cut, you put neosporin on it or whatever kind of ointment that you didn't got equate works too (laughs) so whatever you need to do to tend to it to care for that wound that wound again being a physical wound an emotional mental wound whatever that is be sure to care for that wound as instructed so that it can heal maybe your therapist suggests that you take some time off from work maybe that's tackling stress maybe that's eating better It could be whatever. Maybe it's taking the bandage off and putting the bandage back on. Whatever that looked like and however metaphorically this is resonating with you. Tend to your wounds so that it can heal. But just know initially it's what it's going to have to hurt before it can heal. But hear me on this. It hurting before it heals means though that there is an end to that pain. Because healing means it's all good. You straight now. You got this. Go forth. Go forth. Somebody getting a cast taken off means that they have healed from whatever wound. Right? The recovery looks different. It looks different for all of us no matter what that thing may be. But it's your journey and yours alone. But knowing that you will heal, let that be 
what continues to drive you to do what you need to do to take care of yourself in the meantime, knowing that it's not going to be like this always. Yes, I may again, I may have a scar, but it's not going to be like this always. My finger not always going to be wrapped up this like always. I'm not going to wake up crying in the middle of the night always. I'm not going to be upset about what happened always. You won't because healing means it's good to go. And you can go forth and do what you got to do. Go back to your regular scheduling program. (laughs) Go back to that, okay? But healing also means that you have learned enough along the way. You know how to take care of yourself now. So if something like this should occur again, I know exactly what I need to do. I've got the tools. I'm ready. But I also know what I did for this thing to happen. And not all things that you do to end up wounded are things that you expect or have planned. Because, I mean, a tattoo, as dope as they end up being, them suckers hurt when you're getting them. (laughs) Let's just be for real. But you know when this is healed, man, I'm going to have a dope piece of art that I can't wait to show or that I'm just going to love, that I'm going to sit with, right? And you know that. So be gentle with yourself in this season, in the next, in the next, in the next. And know that wherever there is pain, there is healing. But them wounds are going to have to hurt before they can heal. But my love, you will heal. Just keep taking care of yourself. Be patient. And most importantly, keep pressing forward. Till the next time. I'm out. Peace.